Welcome back. I'm going to do a short video today on spring walleye locations. I'm going to go through various lakes. I'm going to pick two. I'm going to go with a small to medium sized lake around Park Rapids and then a little bit bigger lake around Park Rapids. Um, some things I'm going to explain are base map as well as auto chart live and how I set up my shallow water highlight and my depth highlight and how you two can look at a lake map and have some good starting areas. That's the first key is finding those starting areas. So the first thing I'm going to explain is base map on Lake George. So here we have Lake George and as you can see I have it just on base map now and I think it base map does a good enough job showing you basic structure of the lake. Uh, comes in three colors white, this baby blue, and this darker blue. What I'm going to be doing is in the spring looking for this white. White is less than 10 feet. Um, in the spring I like to fish shallow and that's where a majority of the fish are because the water is warmer. Um, so what I'm looking for is more flat areas. Um, so like this flat, this kind of connects here so that'd be pretty good. This flat as well as this flat. Um, as you can see, there's a little point that comes off here that's going to probably be a good spot to start, as well as this point here and down in here where you have this connectivity. Let's switch over to auto chart now and I'll show you my depth highlight. I'm going to turn that to visible. Exit. And we are going to focus on this point right here. So I'm going to zoom in. As you can see, the point is actually up here, um, and that wasn't actually on the map, but that works pretty good. So as you can see, I have three colors, red, white, and green. So when I'm using Auto Chart Live, I have my shallow water highlight set from 0 to 10. That's early season. That's pretty much what I'm going to be fishing. 10 to 20 is white, and that's going to be like my weed edge fishing once the weeds start appearing. And green is 20 to 30, which is going to be your deeper humps your basin fish and then anything over 30 is just blue and that will be like open water basin fishing. So now as you can see I'm going to be focusing on this red. This red's pretty good. It's you know six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once it hits ten it really starts to drop. So those fish are more than likely going to be set up right on these on the top of this lip. Um, that'd be a good spot to start. Now let's cruise over here and check this out. Alrighty, and you can, again, when you hit this 10 to 12, 14 feet right here, that's steep. These fish are going to be positioned right on top. So go through, work these. You can side scan them with your transducer and hopefully mark a few fish. Let's check this spot out too. So this, this flat point looks really good. So as you can see, it's five, six, seven, and then eight, nine, ten. It gets really steep, especially right on this border right here. So more than likely, if I was going to start, I would start on this point looking for fish. If there's going to be fish here, probably going to be on here, maybe tucked in this corner, but most of the time, they're going to be right here, access to deep water. Now, as promised, we'll go to a bigger lake. We are going to go down to Fish Hook which is located right in the town of Park Rapids, basically. So, I'm just going to base map this one. As you can see, there's quite a bit of white, but it's very steep along here. This is a good flat. As you can see, it's got little nooks and crannies, as well as over here. Now, the good thing is there's actually a river that comes in here, or that goes out there, and then a river comes in over here. So these flats and these flats are going to be pretty good. In the spring of the year, they like current, so they're going to focus on inlets and outlets, more so inlets than outlets, but still a great spot to start. Um, if we zoom in, you can see um, pretty solid flat with some different angles and arcs in there that's really going to help you. But for the most part, you're going to start fishing these flats, uh, maybe bump up over to here. There's a little rock pile, it looks like. Um, that's what I would be looking for on, say, this bigger lake. But again, shallow water. Um, 
Shallow, smaller lakes are probably going to be your ticket early season. Thank you. Toodaloo.